Good day, mortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing an elf ear company called Mad House FX Studio on Etsy. So I first bought these wood elf ears from Madhouse FX Studio, and after buying them, I just absolutely fell in love and had to get another pair. Now these are not glued on right now because I'm literally about to take them off, but just pretend that they are and they just look so gorgeous. And I just thought I had to make a review of it because in my opinion, they are the best ears for the best price on the market, at least from what I've seen. These ears were about $10, not including shipping. After shipping, it was like $17 because it does come from Spain. And I think the shipping could be a little bit cheaper because it does come in a little envelope like this, but that's still way cheaper than the Aridani ears. And I think Aridani ears are really overhyped and overrated. I'm not here to bash Aridani ears, but I just think these Madhouse FX Studio ears are just superior in every way and besides the fact that they're really cheap what's so great about these ears is that they cover the entire ear except for like the inner part so most ear tips have like maybe this part of the ear let me show you my Aridani ears so see how these don't go all the way to the very bottom of the ear it doesn't cover the ear lobe to ignore the fact that they're too dark because over time latex does tend to darken but I always felt like you could always see this line even when it was the regular color of my skin I don't know they're, they're not bad ears I like them but these were $25 for a pair of these and these like I said before shipping were only $10 and even without glue like it fits pretty well but if you glued it on it'll just stick on even better and it looks like I have an actual elf ear like I just love the fact that it fits my ear so perfectly anyway moving on to the ears I just got today these are one of the link ears and they come in these little bags full of like a powdery substance I don't know if the powder I would assume the powder helps protect the latex and what's weird about these though is that these are actually painted already these, when I got them, were completely not painted. They were almost clear looking. These, you can tell, are definitely painted because of the pinkish tone to it. I prefer them unpainted because I have such a pale complexion. Since these are bigger ears, I think these were about $13 before shipping and about $20 after shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and just try them on like they are. You see, these are definitely a lot bigger. Actually, let's just keep this one on so we can compare the two. All right, so here is the ear on without any paint or anything, without any glue. Um, this ear is for some reason bigger, I think, than this one. I don't mean like the length of the point. I mean just the way that it fits on my ear. We'll see how it fits once I uh, actually glue it on. All right, this looks kind of goofy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the other one on. All right, that is a pretty cute look. So it does look like they're a little bit too pink for my skin, so I am gonna go ahead and cover it with makeup. So I do that by using my regular foundation powder, going with this, and then I just basically pat it on the outside. I don't know how well this is gonna show up since it's already painted. Um, it showed up very well on the unpainted ears. But these aren't too far from my color. They're just a little bit too pink, so I'm just gonna kind of try to get rid of that excessive pinkness. Let's see how that one looks. It doesn't look that much different. It looks a lot different when they're not painted. And if you want, you can go in with a pink tone eyeshadow and get in like the little cracks. So I can see there's a little crack right here, like a little dent, but you can't really see it very well. So I'm just going to kind of low light it make it kind of stand out a little bit more see see how I did that All right, I actually have a critique here which I did not notice in my wood elf ears my wood elf ears I think are pretty much perfect these I don't know what you call this part of the ear this little like top section they are different this one has more of a flap going on and this one doesn't 
my heater just kicked on, so sorry about that. And you still can't really notice much of a difference in the flaps. And that's not like a unique problem that Madhouse has. Aerodonti ears, my Aerodonti ears were like two totally different shapes. As long as they're not like two totally different, um, I guess it's okay because in real life people have different shaped ears. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. So I'm using some spirit gum and it, when I take them off, I'll use the spirit gum remover. You don't need to use this to take it off your ear. You just need this to like clean the latex from the spirit gum because it will start to kick on. And as you can see, I don't even need the glue. Um, it'll just make it fit perfectly, but they're not falling off my ears without the glue. They might if I like go LARPing, but. So let's see, with these ears, I think I'm going to glue right here and here and maybe going up all the way here just because they don't fit my ear perfectly like the other ones. The other ones I just glue here and here and that's it. So I'm gonna glue a little bit right here. And then right here. Going all the way up about here. Let's just see how that goes. And I'm actually going to get the back too, just so it sticks a little bit better. All right, and then you want to put it on your ear. Make sure that it is fitting perfectly the way that you want it. And then you want to just hold it down with your fingers until it dries, which takes a few minutes. And I'll usually just sit here and like play on my phone for a few minutes until I'm ready to do the other one. And sometimes I'll actually do both at the same time. Okay, it's been like a few seconds basically, and it feels already done, which is great. Right now, I'm going to do the other side. And I wanna make sure it lines up with the other ear so that it doesn't look all wonky. Yeah, it seems like with these ears in particular, I want to focus a lot of attention on this spot right here. I don't need to do that so much with the other ones, but once I make sure that this part sticks together, then it fits, I think, the way that it's supposed to fit. All right, I have them both glued on now, and I can already tell that they are a little bit um, less quality than my wet elf ears, just because of how asymmetrical they are how this side goes down more than this side but i still think they're really cute um i think they look really realistic looking they're probably the most realistic looking ears that i've seen and that i've tried not including these i mean i think i think the reason why these look better is because one um they're more symmetrical and two because they came unpainted and so they were basically clear and all I did was add my foundation on top of it. So when I add this ear onto my ear, it blends a little bit better. Cause you can see a bit of the line right here, which I'm super over exaggerating. I mean, this is pretty realistic looking. Um, I just, I'm just saying, I think it would be a little bit better if it came unpainted so I can just so I can just put makeup on top of it. Yeah, I think I'm about ready to record some Ori and the Will of the Wisps. When I play Zelda, I'll wear these ears too because they are supposed to be Link's ears. Yeah, Madhouse Epic Studio on Etsy. I'll leave the link in the description below. I think they are the best ears for the price. There might be more realistic looking ears out there, but I, I would imagine that they're more expensive. Oh, and LARPers, if you main an elf character or you play an elf a lot, don't buy your ears from Wish. Stop that. Don't buy $1 ears if you're going to main an elf. Put some investment into your costume, please, because having good ears for an elf really makes a difference. It's kind of cringy when I see people wear those ears from Wish that look just terrible, terrible. And I get if you're buying a bunch of ears for a bunch of NPCs or whatever, but for your main character, buy some freaking $10 ears for Christ's sakes. They look so good. Way better than Eridani, in my opinion. Way better than Cosplay FX, in my opinion. 
and way better than any of the other ones that I've seen on Etsy. And remember, if you have normal sized ears, I really recommend getting the ones that go all the way to your earlobe. Even if they don't fit perfectly, you can kind of trim it, as long as they're not too small. Cause you don't wanna have to have like hair falling down in front of your ears. I see people do that all the time because their elf ears don't match up with their real ears very well. You can see a really distinct line. So they cover their ears with hair to try to hide it, but just get ones like these. It's way better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you play an elf character, I really hope that you go and check out this Madhouse FX Studio on Etsy. I am no way sponsored. I just genuinely love these ears. I'd appreciate it if you liked, shared, and subscribed, and I hope to see you in the next video.